Hey guys! Today I'm recreating an Angelina Jolie inspired makeup look. As usual, I'm going to keep it very easy and simple. I hope you'll enjoy it. Prepare your false lashes and let's get started! For this look, I wanted my skin to be as light as possible. That is why I have used the lightest foundation that I own in my collection. And this is Revlon Colorstay in the shade. 150 buff. To apply it, I have used the same foundation brush that I use all the time by Sigma. Actually, since this foundation is pretty thick, it would be okay also to use a sponge if you want a thinner application. To finish off my skin, I have used MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20 in a very light pow powder by Alverde, which is a green makeup brand that you can find in Europe. I just wanted to spend two words about this concealer. This is the very first product that I bought when I started to watch videos on YouTube. It is my first YouTube made me buy it product and I'm actually very glad that I did it because I love it and I just use it all the time. Here I'm now applying my powder with a brush by Real Techniques. Let's move on now to one of the key steps for this look, contouring. Here I have gone for Hoola by Benefit. I know that it's pretty expensive, but I think it is worth buying it at least once for the brush it comes with. Here I'm doing some contouring to recreate somehow Angelina's face shape. And I'm using this brush that comes in the box and I really enjoy it. I know that some girls prefer to use an angled brush or a pointy brush, but this shape is just perfect for me. And some brands sell this kind of brushes and they are very expensive. That is why I think that this is just a great deal. So here I'm using this brush to contour my face and also to blend the bronzer. Another important step is contouring your nose. If you're not blessed with a perfect small nice nose, just don't panic. Take a small fluffy brush and some matte bronzer and you're good to go. As a base for my eyeshadows, I'm using Painterly Paint Bot by MAC and I'm just applying it all over my eyelids with my fingers in order to prevent my eyeshadows from creasing. The first eyeshadow that I'm going to use is called Tease from the Naked 2 palette and it is kind of light matte pinkish brown. Basically we're going for a softer cut crease look and I'm starting with a blending brush and I'm just applying this color in my crease and also in the outer corner. I'm now going to use a very very dark rich matte brown called ground brown by mac and i'm using it with a pointy brush by sigma and i'm applying it in my crease and also on the other corner and at this point if you want a more intense look just go on and use also a black eyeshadow and apply it in the crease it is now time for eyeliner and guys, it is so difficult to apply eyeliner in front of a camera and not looking weird. But anyway, I'm using a gel eyeliner by Bobbi Brown. Feel free to use whatever you prefer, liquid eyeliner, black pencil and just do a winged eyeliner. I'm now taking another color by MAC. It is called Shroom and uh, it is a creamy shade with a little bit of shin in it. And I'm just applying it by using a brush that comes in the Naked 2 palette. I'm now going back and adding some gel eyeliner in my lower rim too. I love using gel eyeliner in this way because doing so I'm sure that this is going to last me all day in my inner room. Okay, let's now curl those lashes. Out of camera, I've applied some false lashes, some demi-lashes. 
And now I'm using a mascara by L'Oreal just to emphasize even more my natural lashes and my false lashes. And this mascara is called Butterfly. So this is the final look for my eyes. It is very easy and simple and it requires just a few steps. So before going out and look for Brad Pitt, let's move on to the final step. And I'm going to give you a few tips to give the impression that your lips look fuller. So first of all, use a cream eyeliner to emphasize the cupid bow. Then use a bronzer to create a shadow under your lower lip. If you want your lips to look fuller, avoid dark lipsticks and use instead a nude shade. Here I'm using a color by Estee Lauder and this is called Vanilla Truffle. And I really love this shade. This is a kind of peachy pink nude light shade and it's just the perfect nude lipstick and I'm just applying it straight from the palette. An extra step to make your lips look plumper is wearing a clear lip gloss on the center of your lips and here I'm using a color by MAC and it is called Ever So Rich and guys this thing smells so amazing and as you can see here I'm just applying it on the center of my lips. Then, last but not least, I'm applying a highlighter just to emphasize even more my cheekbones. And here I'm using a cream color base by MAC Cosmetics and it's called Hush. And it is just going to give me a little bit of color since I'm not going to use any blush for this look. And this is the final look guys. I really hope you enjoy it. It is absolutely easy and if you want me to recreate another celebrity inspired makeup look just let me know by leaving a comment below. And I've actually had a lot of fun recreating this makeup look and here you are the picture I drew my inspiration from. So guys until next video. Bye!